Welcome to the tenth video in our mp3drivelclub.com series on managing your photographs with Picasso. We're looking today at the effects tab on the editing uh, page. The most important one to think about is the sharpen uh, effect. Uh, that's very useful. Uh, the others, um, I haven't really found them terribly useful for my travel photographs anyway. There is a problem with uh, digital sampling or digital photography which uh, tends to create a bit of blurring of edges. So I wanted to show you this this shape here with a blue and red uh, uh, over, overlapping, uh, interlocking, etc. Blow it up a bit so we can see a bit more detail. Imagine this square here is a uh, pixel. We showed a mostly red and a bit of blue then it will look like a pink to the the pixel and uh, similarly if you show it mostly blue and a bit of red then maybe it looks purple um, and perhaps when you've done that at a big scale this is what this little area looks like when you blow it up you've got a nice blue pixels there but then you've got purple line and a pink line before you get back into the red now they may have several rows of this uh, and um, that means that uh, uh, it, you know the line when you put it blow it back down to a normal scale uh, means that the eye sees a rather poorly defined edge. So sharpening is about restoring this this blue back to this line, this red in from this side until they get to the middle uh, and uh, it's a very useful effect therefore. So let's have a look at the uh, sharpen tool in action starting from the library page. Here is a picture of the, uh, the back of the Rex Museum in uh, Amsterdam and you can see that this uh, building is just a little bit blurry. So let's have a look at the sharpen tool. We can move this slider to and fro and when we release it I think that's significantly better and if I cancel it you'll be able to see it go blurry again. Uh, if I reapply it I like that much better. There, apply that. Right, there's another trick you can do um, if you want Google, oh sorry, Picasso to pick the right uh, value, you simply press the shift button and then double click on sharpen and it will and then apply. Uh, and I think you can see we've got a very nice sharp photograph, much, much improved photograph there. So back to the library uh, and there it is, still nice and sharp. Right, thanks for watching that. Uh, if you enjoyed that, please click like now below this video. Uh, what I'm going to do in the next video is going to walk you through the other effects. Well, actually, we're going to race through them because uh, they're not really great for travel photographs. But anyway, I have to include them for completeness.